one of my most frequent asked questions across all my social platforms like instagram tiktok youtube is what cream do you use for your daughter what is your daughter's skincare routine and today i've decided to come answer you all i'm gonna be breaking down i'm gonna be telling everything there is to tell pertaining her skincare so with that being said hey guys welcome and welcome back to the channel my name is katrin and my daughter's hair is can you say your name my name is Dobe Hill. My name is Destiny Hilary Will. Okay, okay, you guys just heard them. I'm a YouTuber based in Asaba, Delta State, Nigeria. I make videos around hairstyles, lifestyles, sit down videos, you name it. So, with no further ado, let us dive right into this video. <laughs> First thing I would love to point out before I get into the rest of this video is my daughter's skin complexion is her real skin color. My kids' skin complexion are their real skin color. The reason I felt this is necessary for me to point out is I've been getting lots of weird messages. I've missed those asking me what cream I use for my kids, my kids' skincare routine. They love my, my kids' skin color. I have gotten some weird messages like I love your daughter's skin color what cream do you use on her I want to use them on my kids I don't know is it just me am I really meaning into things because to me that sounds like what cream are you using for your daughter that made her look the way she look like the cream you're using for your daughter is responsible for her skin complexion is it me that is really meaning to this i, I really i am curious i really want to know i feel like those type of messages they are offensive probably the messenger didn't realize the weight of that message it implies a lot of things that sentence went from the messenger implying that i am probably using one miraculous cream on my daughter's body so them wanting to do the same whether their kids are dark in complexion they just want their kids complexion to be the same color as adobe skin complexion i made a video about this sometime last year i made a video about my kids skincare routine because i was getting this message as well at that time that i decided to take the both step and do that video but for the benefit of those that have joined this family we have grown we have lots of new members i have decided to make this video again and i needed to clarify a lot of things and also my kids are no longer using the product they were using last year that is the product they were using when i made um, my kids skincare routine last year they are no longer using any of those products so i felt like it is nice it would be okay to be cool for me to come on here to share the new ones for you all but before i go ahead to start mentioning the product and everything i use for them moms mothers out there please accept your kids for the color they are okay like i gave birth to my kids white <laughs> my kids were literally white in complexion when they popped up like i'm not kidding you need to see their great grandmom that is my husband's grandmom you need to see her even at her old age she is still very light in complexion my mother-in-law that is my kid's grandmom she is very light in complexion and my husband too is light in complexion myself i am not left out i am light in complexion so this is genetic it has nothing to do with cream it's even though i am rubbing my kids coconut oil today even though i rub their shea butter their skin will still remain the same because it is genetic I have talked about this in my previous video that their complexion have nothing to do with cream or soap or nothing I, I i do not care about those things funny enough i do not care about those things i didn't even know that kids have skin care routine to you till a lot of you started bombarding me with questions like that i didn't know i use coconut oil on them i use olive oil on them i use shea butter on them over the last couple of years there have been awareness of mothers bleaching their babies from the womb or even as soon as they pop their babies there have been awareness about that but not loud enough because to date 
mothers are still bleaching their kids skin i have seen a lot of mothers using bleaching cream using harsh cream on their child's skin even from baby to toddlers i have seen that we see a mom that is supposedly black in complexion but obviously they are now kind of light because of whatever skincare routine they are using that is now making them light and so for that reason they feel like their child have to be light as well once you see a child that their skin has been tampered on you will know like kids skin are very fragile they are very delicate you can even tell in an adult talk more of a kid so i always wonder what you know encourages these mothers to use harsh skincare products on their skin I don't know what gave you people that mind. I don't know. I don't know who they give another that mind, honestly. Allow kids to be kids. Allow kids skin to be what they are. If they are dark in complexion, of course, it's genetic. It's You're probably dark as your mom or their father is dark or one person or the other from your lineage is dark. I have seen parents that have dark kids. Like both parents are light in complexion, but their child is dark. And there is nothing absolutely wrong with that. It might be genetic like someone from the lineage has been like i mean you know the problem with this whole scheme bleaching in children that has become a thing in our society today sometimes they causes permanent irreversible damages on your kids skin sometimes they affect their growth they affect their development as kids there causes more harm than good there is nothing special about light complexion skin there is nothing special about light comp complexion skin so i don't know why the whole fuse there is nothing special about it dark complexion skin is excellent light complexion skin is excellent just accept your skin color the way you are if your child is dark in complexion teach her how to love her skin or teach him how to love his skin accept it wholeheartedly proudly you ought to be proud about that skin it's not easy to come by maintain the skin complexion glow be caramel okay i don't know if that, if that i think i've preached enough who get you make you here i think i've said all that is to be said in this video so moving on to the product i use on my child's body like i did mention i have changed what i use for them as at the time i made the last um the skincare routine they used the reason i changed those products is because i realized that the cream had lots of fake in the market like there were tons of fake even in the supermarket you could barely find the original i was noticing it was reacting to my key skin so i had to stop immediately i had to stop immediately and we started using the popular e45 junior i don't know if you guys seen that e45 junior moisturizing lotion yeah we started using e45 junior and it's, this one is almost finished. This is the first pot we have ever used since that time. Probably January. And we just have a little. This is like the first bottle I've ever used. And that's to tell you, I barely apply moisturizer on these keys. If not that, it is moisturizer. You know our, con you know our weather condition in this country is very hot. So most of the time, I don't even apply any um moisturizer on my kids skin so to avoid them sweating a lot especially when they are going to school sometimes i just apply it on their leg their their arms their face and they are good to go even though moisturizers are very good you know they keep they keep the skin supple soft and stuff like that but then our weather condition is very hot we, i can't help it I, i'm not gonna allow my kids to go sweating like <laughs> what i don't know or because i want to rub the cream so i guess that is why this um moisturizer have lasted this much it has lasted like a lot and for the soap i use the same um, e45 junior foaming bath for them but that one is finished and i couldn't get exactly this junior so we were able to get this one there is a difference between these two this is junior and this is teens this is um junior teens this is just junior junior this is junior teens so this is the bath we have been using for them and uh, it has been good i can't complain so guys i'm doing this voiceover two weeks after this video 
because we are no longer using the E45 Junior, just Junior moisturizer. We are now using E45 Junior and Tint moisturizer, the same as the, the bath wash that I just showed you all. And I did not mention in this video that this E45 Junior and Tint contains SPF, like it contains SPF 50 plus. Are you kidding me? I've never seen anything like this. I haven't been that mom that would go to the store to get SPF for my kids. I have never done that. So this is like, <laughs> I love it so much. Yeah. And to think that this is what I also use for myself. I use E45 as well for myself. Look at my own. This is my own. When you go to the back, you, you will see that it's suitable for all skin type, including babies over three months yes it is written there so you can imagine um me as an adult using you know a very mild um moisturizer like as an adult i'm using a very mild moisturizer why would i use hash ram on my kids like a mild moisturizer that even three months old can use meaning i can even use this one on my kids it is very mild to the skin very hydrating it absorbs into the skin very lightweight most most importantly very lightweight it's not oily you know these are the properties i look at when choosing body moisturizer for anyone including myself like i look at for lightweight i look at for absorbing hydrating i don't like moisturizers that's um that that are oily i look at for skincare products that are dermatology tested yes it's very important that way i know that they have undergone or um tests needed you don't necessarily have to get this exact um um skin care um, product that i use on my kids you can look out for yourself go to the stores go to um skin care stores there are uh, there are skincare uh, products like Avino. I've heard a lot of positive reviews about Avino. There is one called Makani Abimakari. There are lots of good moisturizer. Go for moisturizers, okay? Like you need moisturizers, your kids need moisturizers as well. Stop going for all this. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to describe them. I'm that kind of person that. When I want to change anybody's skincare products, myself included, I will just go to the store. I will use my eye to pick out. I won't, I won't even ask the vendors there. I won't ask anyone. I mean, thank, thankfully, I don't have a problematic skin. I don't have an acne-prone skin. My skin accepts um, any skincare product. So as my kid, in my last video that I shared a skincare product, you know, I did mention um, vitamins, a couple of things that um, that helps as well, like vitamins, vegetables, you know, the food they eat, the environment they stay in, everything. It also affects how the, these kids can look. The food that goes into their body, vitamins, minerals, supplements. You give your kids supplements. <laughs> Do you give your kids supplements? I give my kids supplements. They take reload. Reloaded for kids. Yeah, it's in the kitchen. And this one cannot go and pick it. Leave there before you form my tripod. I give them reloaded for kids. They chew um two every day. My son chew two, my daughter chew one. Okay, now that she's turning four, she will start chewing two. <laughs> so I give them reloaded for kids every day. Do you give your kids um um fruit? These are very important. They are more important than the cream that than cream and soap said. They are more important than cream and soap. Give them nourishing fruits, nourishing um food and the environment they stay in it's all these things contribute hugely to how your kids will look remember in a photo i posted of adobe you know a lot of people started asking me skincare 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 and someone replied it is not all about i will leave the comment on the screen someone replied it is not all about um cream it's it it has more to do about what they eat the environment they stay in the gene and i so much appreciate that comment i was glad that someone knew that kids complexion is not all about what they rub on their skin It's more of what they are taking to their body It's more of genetics so with that i've come to the end of this video hope i did not offend anyone sha i don't want to the intention was not to offend anyone but i needed to get a lot of things out of my chest so hope you did not take it the wrong way and yeah mommy come come and tell them bye bye so, and with that being said, I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.